Let's go back, 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 back. If you're a kiteboarder, then there's a good chance that you've been responsible for being a conversation stopper. When someone asks, what kind of activities do you enjoy doing? Reading. Uh, I enjoy reading. When you tell someone that you enjoy kiteboarding, they may say, oh, isn't that that sport where that boat pulls you with a long rope and you're underneath a large parachute as you're going across the water? That looks so fun. But that activity just won't suffice for comments like, man, you were getting so close to pulling off that trick. Or, great session on the water today. Or, man, you were getting some serious air. Maybe. By definition, kiteboarding is a sport where you're propelled across the water on a board by power of a kite through which you are harnessed. Now, there are many aspects and levels of kiteboarding. I'm just the okay kiteboarder, so I ride a twin tip board, a board that you can ride in either direction, and I can do some basic to intermediate level stuff, which is extremely enjoyable to me, but I can't do anything like this, nor will I probably ever be able to. But even just mowing the lawn is a really enjoyable experience, especially for the beginning kiter. I also am learning to ride a hydrofoil with a kite, this sport allows you to get out on the water in less wind due to less resistance from being off of the surface of the water. This sport has you elevated out of the water through a mast and the only thing under the surface of the water is a front wing and a stabilizer wing. But again, there are all kinds of levels of ability for this as well. Some of the most common questions that I get are, how do you get the kite out on the water? The kite is launched from land and most kites have an inflatable bladder which will also float on the water. Many riders now also use foil kites which are not inflatable, but they are very efficient. Don't your arms get tired? You must have to be so strong. No, many sessions on the water last for hours and the key is in the harness. There are waist harnesses and seat harnesses. The pull of the kite is actually through your harness. The chicken loop attaches to your harness hook and it gives you the ability to steer the kite and increase and decrease power on the kite without it pulling through your arms. When you jump, are you afraid that you won't come back down? No, when you jump, you will come back down. There are freak events on YouTube that you can look up of updrafts taking a kite or a few hundred feet in the air, but this is far from a common occurrence. The kites are not designed to fly you up, up, and away. So now hopefully you can see why the kiter is really about the only person who gets really giddy about a high wind forecast or very windy days, or why their phones are filled with a ton of apps like this, or why you were sent this YouTube episode to watch. If you have any potential interest in joining this epidemic, first of all, get professional instruction. This sport is safe if proper steps are taken, but can be deadly if the mindset is, hey, I have an afternoon off, I, I think I'll come out and kiteboard with you, it really doesn't look that difficult. If you do get the kite bug, check out Green Hat Kiteboarding, if the green hat's still on the lower left edge of your box, or their link in my description below for all your kiteboarding needs. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. We cover the spectrum from the water start to the foil jump and everything in between. I hope to see you in the future on the water and next time on the OK Kiteboarder. Let's go back, 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 back.